Hello, my name is Aviv, and in this video, we'll go over the stall detection feature for stepper motors in Agito controllers. We'll be covering what is stalling in stepper motors and how it can be detected, an overview of the stall detection window in PC Suite. We'll go over the calibration process of the feature, then we'll show a few examples of the feature in action, and lastly, we'll go over tips and tricks to get the most out of the feature. I'll be using an AGM800 master controller, an AGA102 amplifier, and a two-phase hybrid stepper motor. We have a dedicated video showing how to wire up and configure the stepper motor. Link in the description. Stepper motors are driven by voltage commands, which yield the desired magnetic flux to move the rotor to the demanded positions, step by step. Stalling refers to a rotor not being able to mechanically follow the changes in the magnetic field of the stator. The rotor is out of sync with the magnetic field. As a result, the motor will miss steps, jitter, or stop completely. This may be caused by a high mechanical load or changing the magnetic field too quickly until the rotor fails to follow. While moving, the controller controls the phase currents according to a user-defined setup. In order to create this desired current, the controller calculates the voltage to apply to the motor's phases. The higher the motor's speed, the higher the voltage required to create this desired current. So, while in normal operation a certain voltage is required to create the desired current, once the motor starts to miss steps or to stall, the back EMF is falling, and as a result, the required voltage is dropping. Knowing the required voltage when the motor is not stalling allows us to set a certain threshold to approximate when the motor is stalling or missing steps. To activate and calibrate the feature, let's go to the stall detection window in PC Suite. Firstly, make sure you are using an open loop stepper motor in the motor window and that it is properly configured for your system and you can perform normal motions. Then go to Tune, Stall Detection Window. For the configuration, we have three options. Off, Alarm Only, meaning that if the motor stalls or slips, the stepper stall LED will turn red, and Alarm and Motor Off. This means that when the motor stalls, the motor will shut off and an arrow will appear in this window. I'll set it to on with alarm only for now. The stall sensitivity is the percentage of the maximal threshold. So, the lower it is, the less sensitive the detection will be. In other words, the stepper will need to move much slower than the desired speed before the slip or stall will be detected. To change the stall threshold using the threshold sensitivity bar, drag the bar to your desired value and click the apply all button. Note that the feature works best with micro steps and with speeds higher than 30 RPM. Let's go over the calibration process. First, set the maximal speed your application will reach. For me, it will be about 5000 steps per second for a stepper resolution of 6 bits. Acceleration and deceleration are filled automatically. Insert a motion range that will allow the machine to move for at least 2 seconds. For me, to be on the safe side, 3 times the velocity. Then start the calibration. This will run a few measurements to determine the stall threshold. The calibration ended successfully. Press OK and then the Apply All button. Note that every change in the motor current configuration, the power supply to the motor, or the motor resolution requires recalibration of the feature. Otherwise, you may get false detections or missed detections. Let's see two examples of the stall detection feature in action. I'll show three graphs for these examples. Stall stat 
indication if stall or slip event occurs. Stall val, the value we use to detect stalling or slipping. If this value drops below the threshold, we conclude a stall or a slippage event happened. And stall th, the threshold of the stall detection. I'll show the examples in jog mode. The first example is the stall detection with an alert only. I'll set the motor speed to the same speed in the calibration, 5000 steps per second, and I'll start the motion. After the motor has reached a constant velocity, about 2 seconds, I will stop the motor with my hand by exerting an opposite torque. And we get an indication that the motor is stalling, the stall LED is red. And you can see in the graphs when the detection happened. Now let's see an example with the motor turning off. I'll set the stall config to 2, on with alarm and motor off. I'll start with the same velocity as before, let the motor reach a constant speed, and then I'll change it to a very high speed, let's say 5 million steps per second. This will cause a stall event since the rotor won't be able to follow the change in the magnetic field. As we can see, the motor is turned off when the stalled event occurs. To help you with your setup of the feature, in case you will encounter any problem, let's go over some tips and tricks. During calibration, make sure your motor avoids voltage or current saturation because it will lower the threshold unnecessarily. If you get a lot of false detections, lower the stall threshold. If you don't get stall detection at values you are certain the software should detect, raise the stall threshold. Make sure to click the apply all button after any change in the sensitivity. Consider recalibrating in both cases. To test the feature after calibrating, set the motor to jog mode and stop it mechanically if you can. Or set the speed to an extremely high value to cause a stall event just like we showed in the examples earlier. That's it for this tutorial. Check out our website for high precision controllers and servo systems. And for more details, feel free to contact us. Link in the description. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.